and Ramadan Kareem. Thank you all for joining us in this evening. We have an exciting program in store for you all. The 16 companies you are going to hear from began this program in February in person here in Riyadh. However, the program was disrupted by COVID-19 and on March 15th, pivoted to a virtual format. Lectures and office hours moved online to Zoom and today the program culminates in a digital demo day with all of you. If you have received an email from us with a link to our Adventist app named 500 Startups, please download the app if you have not already done so. The founders are looking forward to speaking with you. If you have not received the link and would like to directly interact with the founders pitching here today, please register on the link below. bit.ly slash misc 500 DDD that is bit.ly slash misc 500 DDD we are eager for you to meet these companies but first it is my pleasure to introduce Christine Tsai the CEO and founding partner of 500 startups to say a few words good evening Ramadan Karim my name is Christine Tsai and I am CEO and founding partner of 500 startups Thank you for joining us for this very special digital demo day and supporting the amazing founders and companies of batch three of the MISC 500 Accelerator. I hope that you're all in good health during this difficult time. As a global venture capital firm, 500 has seen firsthand the impact of COVID-19 on entrepreneurs around the world. As we remain steadfast in our support of founders and partners everywhere, we are also reminded that now, more than ever, the world needs innovation and ideas from passionate, determined founders like the one you're about to see today. Demo Day in particular is a much anticipated event for founders. It's their time to shine after weeks of preparation. When COVID-19 became a global pandemic, Batch 3, which has founders from Saudi Arabia, Egypt, the UAE, Lebanon, and Jordan, were in the middle of their 14-week program in Riyadh. As true entrepreneurs, they were able to quickly adapt and complete the program under difficult circumstances. The MISC 500 team reassembled online to resume lectures via Zoom to build their business. Because they could no longer travel, mentors in San Francisco would wake up at 5 a.m. to teach founders on how to sharpen their pitch and grow sales. This batch also made time to tighten community bonds by organizing fun events such as virtual DJ sessions. One of our mentors from Germany and one of our founders from Lebanon are DJs, so they decided to host a virtual music session on Zoom. Founders also competed for the most creative Zoom backgrounds and the stakes were raised with Photoshop. Unicorns with mentors' heads superimposed as the Zoom background. The MISC 500 team is now bringing the lessons that we learned from our San Francisco Digital Demo Day in March to this evening's program. We're determined to capture the same level of energy and networking opportunities of an in-person demo day, but this time online. Batch 3, we are incredibly proud of you, all 16 companies, as you bring innovation to sectors as diverse as health tech, fintech, mobility, e-commerce, and real estate. Last but not least, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to our partners. This program would not have been possible without the support of Shaima Hamadine, Khaled Al Mafus, and the entire team at the MISC Foundation. As we mark our 10 year anniversary, we've come a long way at 500 to become the world's most active early stage cap venture capital firm in the world. Great ideas exist everywhere, in all corners of the world. Our mission is to uplift people and economies through entrepreneurship. And in times like these, that mission becomes more critical than ever before. Thank you again for joining us this evening. Thank you, Christine. As Christine mentioned, this program would not be possible without the support of Shayma Hamid Deen, Khaled Mahfoud, and the entire team at the MISC Foundation. They have been staunch supporters of this program since day one. The MISC 500 program is an investment program and all the founders that participate receive investment from the 500 Startups MENA Fund, 500 Falcons. Here to speak from the Falcons team is general partner Sharif Al-Badou. 
ضيوفنا الكرام يسعدنا وجودكم معنا هذا المساء. Well, as they say, third time's a charm. And while this batch has certainly faced unimagined difficulties and challenges, their resilience and determination is a testament to their strength and passion, and it is our genuine pleasure to introduce them to you all tonight. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sharif Al Badawi, one of the general partners of 500 Falcons, 500 Startups MENA focused fund. 500 Startups have been investing in the MENA region since 2012, initially from our global funds and then through the 500 Falcons Fund since 2017. We continue to be inspired and impressed by the quality of entrepreneurs we encounter and the accelerating pace of innovation and opportunity here in the region. 500 has invested in over 200 companies across the region, with 170 companies being added in just the past three years. Through 500 Falcons, we do both direct investments and investments through programs via uh, the MISC 500 Accelerator and MENA Dojo program, targeting startups from pre-seed to pre-series A. As I mentioned, this is the third batch for the MISC 500 Accelerator, which has had a tremendous impact on the growth of the Saudi Arabian entrepreneurial ecosystem, but also impacts entrepreneurs and startups across the region, improving the tra trajectory of the founder's journey and fostering more cross-border collaboration. None of this would be possible without the many individuals and organizations that support, such as investors like many of you and partners such as the MISC Foundation. As Christine mentioned, 500 Startups' mission is to uplift people and economies around the world through entrepreneurship. And with each batch of the MISC 500 program, we are seeing this impact come to life before our eyes. Almost one year ago, many of you joined us in person in Riyadh for the Batch 1 Demo Day. And in that time, those founders have gone on to reach new, even more impressive heights. They have raised over $10 million following the program and created over 100 jobs. And those who weren't already local to Saudi became active in the kingdom. It's exciting to imagine where the companies you will meet today will be one year from now. I hope you enjoy the show. And now, without further ado, it is our pleasure to introduce to you the first four companies. Bondi is the first marketplace to help group travelers to discover and book curated experiences in Saudi Arabia. El Coach is an on-demand fitness app for MENA. Ajir is a marketplace connecting homeowners with trusted maintenance service providers. Bankio is a digital bank that allows you to open a current account and get issued a virtual debit card on your phone in three minutes or less. The ambitious Vision 2030 is expecting 100 million tourists in Saudi within the next 10 years. But the industry is so young that it's actually really hard to find available trips. Go ahead, pick up your phone. I'm sure I've got two to three hours to kill while you find something on Instagram, chase down the guy's WhatsApp number and haggle over the price. Can you imagine just how much business is lost in this wild west of an emerging market? I know you guys heard a million pitches for travel apps, but tourism in Saudi literally just started seven months ago. And the tour operators here are so used to pen and paper, Instagram DMs, long WhatsApps, and very poorly designed landing pages. Today, we're in the middle of a global pandemic that brought the whole tourism industry to its knees. Looks like the perfect time to build an empire to me. My name is Sadia and I'm here to pitch you Bondi. My journey started off in San Francisco, where I was pitching an app to help groups travel together more easily. Then all of a sudden, Saudi opened up to tourism. And after living in the US for nine years, I knew I had to go back home and be a big part of this opportunity. It's not every day that a $25 billion market opens up. In fact, with a three-week private beta test in February, we booked over 60 experiences generating 20,000 reals in GMV. And today, we have a third of all tourism vendors in Saudi signed up. 
and they help us build a tool that they wanted to use. While everybody else is winding down due to COVID-19, we're growing. Our waitlist is increasing every single day and we've just launched our pre-booking feature. And this is how Bondi works. Tourism vendors, who we call Bondi Explorers, simply post their trip and a beautiful landing page is instantly published on web page, iOS and Android apps. The trip then gets promoted on social media and travelers can easily book it. Turning Bondi into an online community marketplace where travelers can discover experiences in Saudi. And we make money in three ways, with subscriptions, commissions and convenience fees, we're also partnering up with tourism boards and brands where we promote their region, driving additional revenues. And our team is perfectly suited for this. I'm Sadia, the founder and CEO with a BA and an MBA in tourism and hospitality management and five years of experience working in the industry. And Christian is our head of product. He's, he's exited two startups before and has managed products with over 45 million users and was listed in Forbes 30 under 30. And together, we plan to exceed 45 million users. Because as I said, in just three weeks, we were able to book out 60 experiences and generate 20,000 reals in GMV. And have a third of all tourism vendors in Saudi signed up. We're in close discussions with the Ministry of Tourism. And people are literally pre-booking trips as we speak. There is no one better positioned to transform the tourism industry in Saudi than we are. This is the new way of experiencing Saudi. Come experience it with us. Thank you. So let me assure you, I know the struggle. I know the struggle of losing weight and being in shape. It's not easy, but it's definitely not impossible. 10 years ago, I succeeded in losing over 50 kilos of my weight, only in nine months. And I remember how many mistakes I made because I didn't have the right guidance. So fitness is a personal challenge. All our bodies are different, but most of us want the same thing, to be stronger, healthier, and to live with confidence. MENA is no exception. Fitness is a $5.5 billion industry here. Over $3.5 billion is spent in golf, in gym memberships alone. So MENA wants to get fit. But hiring a personal trainer is so expensive. And going for internet resources or foreign fitness apps is inconvenient, inefficient, and not localized for us in the Middle East. Hi, my name is Awesome. I am the CEO at Your Coach, MENA's on-demand mobile fitness app that will help you feel good, get in shape in an affordable, fun, and effective way. What's unique about Your Coach is that our programs are fully automated and personalized for the body you have now and the body you want to have in the future. We are localized using Arabic language, including meal plans with local cuisines that we all love. We are diversified, whether you're home or gym, we have multiple workout styles for you, plus nutrition and supplements. We are scalable, we can serve hundreds of thousands of users with minimal operational changes. We make money through a recurring subscription fee with users paying around $15 a month. And since we started in 2019, we've been able to grow organically at 40% month over month. And during the pandemic, we succeeded to grow 80% month over month, exceeding $30,000 of monthly revenues. While there are other Arabic solutions on the market, but they aren't accessible to everyone. They are either home only, web only, diet only, women only, or just too generic. In El Coach, we have options for everyone and every training style. We have an average rating of 4.7 from over 4,000 user reviews, and we just crossed 100,000 workout routine completed by our users in El Coach. We are three co-founders with a vast earned experience in the tech industry between product management, software development, and digital marketing, paired with 10 years of experience in the fitness industry. So please join us on our journey to make the Middle East stronger and healthier. Thank you. It's about the degrees outside the Riyadh right now. Now imagine your AC breaks. How do you think you can wait till someone shows up and fixes for you? 
that long, I bet. Well, now I didn't have to. A service provider can be booked via Jeep in three clicks. In 30 minutes, he will be at your home or your office to fix your AC. And if not your AC needs fixing, you might want to use other 20 services that we're already offering to our customers across three Saudi cities and soon entire kingdom. Hi, my name is Faisal Zahlani. I'm a CEO and co-founder of Ajir. If you haven't guessed already, Ajir is a Saudi leading on-demand platform connecting customer with trusted, qualified, vetted service provider to provide the home maintenance services at a very competitive level of price and quality. Our secret sauce is simple. We call it 30 by 30 by 30 guarantee. 30 seconds to connect with a nearest service provider. 30 minutes, the service provider will be at your door ready to tackle any home maintenance task. 30 days, all inclusive of warranty for just a complete peace of mind. This is why more than 200,000 customers requested Ajir and trusted us to complete their home maintenance task in the past two and a half years alone. You hear that right, more than 200,000 customers. And this has been growing 26% month over month. Not only that, half of our customers return back again requesting for a different home maintenance task. And for the COVID-19 impact, we had a positive impact as we were growing 400% in the past few weeks alone. But our customers, they are the half of the story here. The real heroes at Ajira's story, they are more than 4,500 trusted, vetted, qualified service provider, including everything from plumbing, electrician, AC maintenance, painters, and they are using Ajir as their primary way to earn money. And to achieve our vision, we need the right team. Myself, I'm a CEO and co-founder. My partner, Turkan Arjani, is our CEO and handling the operation side. We have a software engineering background and we met together while studying at King Saud University. Along with us, sits more than 20 employees at that company. Together, we have the right experience to achieve our goal. Thank you. Banks are broken. They're just too slow, riddled with the old school mentality, plagued with legacy systems. Some of those systems have been around since before we were born. And this is why challenger banks are crushing them everywhere. In Europe, N26, Monzo, Revolut, they're killing it. In the US, China Bank, in Brazil, New Bank. In China and financials, just got to a billion user. Challenger banks are the new normal, but not in this region. In this region, 25 million new current accounts are opened every year. And every year, nearly 25 million people are disappointed from the below par services they are getting from their banks. And this is why 250,000 users have joined us in the past three months. Hi, my name is Danny and I'm the founder of Bankium. At Bankium, we are building the challenger bank of this region. Bankium allows you to open a current account and get a debit card on your phone in three minutes or less. We make sending and receiving money as easy as sending and receiving a message. But the difference between old school banks and us is not just speed and convenience. We have different DNA. We are natively digital. With our open APIs, Bankium is set to become a platform for other fintech startups to build their amazing products on top, just for you. Your money just got a new operating system. And it's awesome. In the past four weeks, our growth has exploded to more than a thousand percent. We went viral. We are adding 10,000 new users every day. And that's just for word of mouth. Imagine how big we will be by the end of this year. 
Last month, we became a visa partner in the GCC and in Egypt. And this month, we are issuing our first debit card in the UAE. We are the revolute of this region. بس نحن أهل المنطقة ونحن بنفهم على المنطقة. My co-founder and I have built four startups between us, and we have two exits under our belt. Our combined platforms are processing more than a million financial transactions every week. We have a team of experts with one sole obsession: to eliminate every friction point between you and your money. And that promise. You can take to the bank, our bank. On to our second group. Wilt is a website builder where users can create their own Arabic website in under five minutes. Johara is the leading online Abaya store in the GCC. Circle is a mobile app that enables property managers to better engage with their tenants. Elva is a fully remote medication management and monitoring solution. Ninety percent of the businesses in the MENA region don't have an Arabic website, and they do business in Arabic. Hi, my name is Ahmed Rostum. I'm the founder and CEO of Wilt. Businesses in the MENA region struggle to find a convenient way to create an Arabic website. The market is dominated by English website builders, freelancers are not reliable, and web design agencies are overpriced. At Wilt, we solve that. We help small businesses create Arabic websites in less than five minutes. We launched in 2019, and we currently have 700 paying customers. We've been growing at 30% month over month for the past 12 months. Our retention rate of 95% proves that our clients love working with our website builder. This is a huge market. 20 million businesses spend $8 billion annually on website design in the MENA region. So this is the perfect time for Well to grow. The MENA region is now digitizing and everyone is trying to get online. We were growing very fast and with the coronavirus forcing companies to move to online options, we're going to be growing faster. We are the right team to make this company successful because we know the competitive landscape. We have a combined 20 years of experience in website design, digital marketing, product development and management. We've also co-founded two successful companies together. And today, we're taking the website design process to a whole new level. We're launching the first WhatsApp website builder, where you can create your own website in a single chat using AI. So to recap, Wilt is helping businesses in the region to create Arabic websites in less than five minutes. We currently have 700 paying customers. We've been growing at 30% month over month with a retention rate of 95%. So if you want to learn more, let's talk. Thank you so much. Hi, I am Fuad, co-founder of Johar. Jora is the number one destination for women in Saudi to buy abayas online. In less than two years, we have sold more than 180,000 abayas online, which translates into $15 million in sales. Jawhara is different from other e-commerce abaya sellers. We own the entire value chain. We design, manufacture, and sell abayas all through our platform, Jawhara. Our team of designers create 40 new different styles every month. We just launched our Ramadan collection, which has 40 new styles. Yesterday alone, we sold 1,500 abayas. That's $150,000 in sales, just in one day. We own seven factories where we manufacture our own abayas. 
giving us a healthy gross margin of 50%. Our customer absolutely love us and keep coming back. We have 45% repeated customer. For the past year, we have been growing acquiring a new customer 23% month over month. All of this amazing growth would not be possible without exceptional team members. Our founding team, Musayba, Al Kaf, and me, have founded Sifra Startup before. Been working together for almost eight years. We also have 40 team members who combined experience of 35 years in the world of fashion, digital startup, and supply chain. This allows us to grow and capture bigger market shares. In the GCC, the Abaya market is $2.5 billion, growing 10% year over year, while we in Joha are growing 25% month over month. We have been completely bootstrapped Johra and proven that we can sell more than 180,000 Abayas online. No team is in better position to capture the growth of this market. With 25% month over month growth and $15 million in sales, we already in take on your challenges. If you want to participate in our journey, let's connect. So Muhammad moves into a new compound. He still has his last installment to pay, so he needs the gate access. And his AC is broken, so probably he's going to reach out to his property manager. Just imagine if you were the property manager, the one that has to deal with thousands of similar requests flying at you every single week. I'm Nancy Kamel. I'm the co-founder of Circle. We have the real estate developers sell more, cut costs, and create an amazing living experience. Circle is a property management mobile app. It streamlines the, com the communication between the real estate developer and their clients using a mobile phone. It gets the job done fast, efficient, just by carrying the needed information to the relevant stakeholders so the requests can be solved and closed in a seamless experience. We know it's working because in the past eight months, we have managed to onboard the top seven real estate developers in Egypt. And today, they're using our technology to manage 70,000 units across the country. The total value of our contracts to date is $180,000. We listen to our clients. So during COVID-19, we were able to double our business just by creating sales portal for the real estate developers to sell and for the clients to place orders and have it delivered directly to their doorstep. The combined experience we have on the team, which is 18 years of real estate development in Egypt, helped us very much to understand and engage swiftly during the crisis. And today, our clients can sense the instant impact on their business. My co-founder, Asam Megid, has eight years of experience developing technology solutions for the sector. And I myself have a track record in digitally transforming the real estate scene in Egypt. So if you care to know more about a business that can and did grow during a global pandemic, think what we can do next and talk to us. Yeah, make sure you take two pills on Tuesday and switch Thursday and Friday's pills. Yeah, the pink ones and the white ones. No, no, don't take those. Your doctor stopped those. <laughs> All right, love you, Mom. So, you might have a loved one that could be in danger of taking the wrong medication. Unfortunately, you can't always visit them to help, especially during a pandemic. Hi, I'm Dr. Khaled, co-founder CEO at Elva, and we built our solution straight from our garage in San Francisco to help. Elva is a remote medication tracking device that helps families and doctors confirm that their patients are taking the right medication at the right time remotely. We have seven graded patents that allow us to work with any existing medication simply by scanning the medication barcode. The same process done in hospitals and pharmacies. 
to confirm the medication and show how many pills to take. Our device doubles as a medical alert wearable in case your loved ones need help. Since completing development of our pilot-ready cellular-enabled device, we have received interest from Walgreens, CVS, and AstraZeneca, three of North America's biggest pharmacy and therapeutics players, and an LOI for a quarter million dollars from Carilion Clinics, a leading telehealth provider in the U.S. We charge a monthly subscription to patients who use the device so they can confirm any medication at any time with one press of a button. Their families and doctors will always be informed and are able to schedule medication reminders and doses remotely to keep your loved ones and their patients safe. We're addressing a $300 billion problem, which is medication errors in the U.S., and our total addressable market is $16.8 billion. That's 35 million chronic disease patients in the U.S., above the age of 65, who take three or more medications daily. With our funding, we will manage to gain 1,000 subscriptions through direct-to-consumer sales. Share that data with insurance companies who have an average of 85,000 patients each to grow our customer base, gain bigger deals, which stands at $3 million in annual recurring revenue by 2021. We're two co-founders who have dedicated our lives to solving this problem. I'm a medical doctor with a passion for innovation and have faced problems in managing my own patients' medications. Diabetic patients would be readmitted simply by taking the wrong type of insulin. My co-founder, Brahim, is a full-stack hardware and software engineer with more than five years' experience and has worked with startups and hospital design. Together with our team, who have experience in digital health and working with payers and providers, we believe we can deliver this solution to those who need it the most. In short, there is no safer solution right now for remote medication management, and we would love to show you why. Thank you. We'd like to share some industry insights with you all this evening from two important perspectives, investors and founders. Sharing our panel for investors is His Excellency, Dr. Nabil Koshek, the CEO of Saudi Venture Capital Company. Joining him are Abdullah Tamami, Managing Director of Finance Fund, Dr. Mohamed al Mshega, Managing Partner at Taft Lions Ventures, Qais al Isa, Founding Partner and CEO at Vision Ventures. As a VC or a venture investor, what are the market trends you are seeing because of COVID 19? As investors, and more specifically venture capitalists, uh, a lot of things have changed. Some changes are for the short term, some for the medium term, some for the long term. Now, let me start from a big, high level picture. Uh, the digitization cycle, or the speed of digitization for governments, for semi-governments, and the private sector is going to increase like never before. Uh, this is a bullish sentiment, a bullish activity, and a huge increase in demand for the technology space and digitization. So this is great for the entrepreneurial ecosystem and for the disruption of legacy industries, as well as great for venture capitalists. So long-term picture, it's a bullish uh, change and a very positive uh, driver for disruption. You know, a lot of investors are moving today uh, to invest in businesses that are must-haves, uh, you know, versus the good to have or things that are nice to have. Because I think, uh, and, and all of us know that, you know, during crisis, everybody will will buy stuff that that we must have. Uh, however, the things that are good to have will definitely be delayed or or not uh, not uh, you know i don't need them at this time at least i can't delay them i'm not gonna live without them um, i think we already have seen how covid 19 did in the short term shine the really meaning of a strong founding team where founding teams stepped up made massive changes whether in the positive end which is a sub a category of people who saw a big uptake in their business models and how that really they they took actions in a fast pace to really leverage on this or the other more common where the business model got severely affected the number of um, revenue or the, the revenue of the company significantly dropped and we saw a lot of that um, in many companies but we saw the examples of, of strong teams shine with authenticity decisiveness transparency to making some really tough decisions in those tough times uh, we have seen great damage happening into certain verticals 
that are getting harmed heavily, such as tourism, travel, uh, and such. Uh, and it's quite not clear when they will come back into the normal level where they were before, if ever. On the other hand, we've seen increased demand in certain verticals. Some of them extremely increased demand, like local deliveries, such as groceries and, and food and, and, uh, and such, as well as uh, digital payments, uh, increased high demand in that as well. The level of adoption of technology in our region have unfortunately not been up to bar with uh, you know, markets, uh, say, in the US or in, 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 in Europe, or even in China, of course. And that has slowed down uh, startups and companies in, in our region, unfortunately. As a result of what is going on in COVID-19, uh, we are seeing tremendous use, unbelievable uh, jumps in the use of technology and the use of smartphones and the use of laptops uh, that we have not seen before. Uh, what do you think the ecosystem needs in order to continue its development? Increased number of investments, uh, deals, volume of deals, uh, size of rounds, as well as number of investors, which we all can see in the magnet reporting as well as, as, well as other sources. And all this on a macro level is compounded and driven uh, forward by major programs from major governments, such as Saudi, Saudi Venture Capital Company and Jeddah Fund of Funds from Saudi Arabia. You have from Bahrain, uh, Al Waha Fund of Funds. You have from UAE, ADU, uh, and other programs from across regions. All this helping this macro push. And then you have more local micro reasons pushing this ecosystem forward and helping the macro level drivers, such as the MISC 500 program, uh, locally happening in Saudi Arabia, attracting all kinds of entrepreneurs from across the region, uh, giving a quality, an ideal, a standard for how accelerators should be run and how production should be handled. Uh, so, so, yes, does MISC 500 help the quality of the pipeline? Absolutely as well as other drivers, as well as other participants in the ecosystem. All of us need to clap together to make this work and to make the ecosystem go forward and continue to thrive as it has been doing in the last few years. So I would love to see uh, more, you know, set up of a startup friendly jurisdiction uh, coming soon. Um, uh, so inshallah that that will happen hopefully uh, soon. When we start to have more and more of density of expertise, amazing entrepreneurs coming and deciding to establish their companies um, and, and, and density of investors who have seen uh, a couple of companies who have helped, people who have been uh, founders now come to the investor side, um, all of those are components that are starting to see falling into a place. Um, but we need we, we need to, to 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 appreciate we're still a very nascent market and it will take us um, some time to get there. There is a huge uh, opportunity in having cross-border kind of uh, collaboration in some way and probably easing the establishment of a startup from one jumping from one country to another um, or in the rules and regulations around fintech uh, i think you know these two th these two or three things we would love to really see real work done around them and i think all the countries that will participate will gain enormously uh, down the road i think it is important that we think about this as we grow what are some of the things that we're missing and we can tap into adjacent ecosystems uh, there's a lot of advisory that can be benefited from pockets like silicon valley and the like that we can tap into um, i always tell entrepreneurs having an advisory board is paramount to your success at an early stage i think it's even more important than you're having your governance code and code board, having people who've seen something, who've done it, who are a domain expert in the, the space that you're in is really vital. So I think more of those is vital. We need to have a lot of this. We need to have more density and we need to have those entrepreneurs are, are the leaders in, in that uh, ecosystem and, and everyone basically is, is a feeder to help growth and drive the momentum. We at 500 Startups have always been focusing on founders since day one. 
Joining us next are founders from MISC 500 Accelerator Batch 1. Our first question, what was your experience with the MISC 500 Accelerator? What do you remember the most? What was the most important impact on your startup? The MISC 500 Accelerator program, it's a once in a lifetime experience. It's very intense. What I remember the most is what they call Marketing Hell Week, where we spend two weeks continuously promoting our product, learning from our customers, I trade from those learnings. The most important thing is the growth mindset. This is where we continuously testing and learning as well. And at the same time, how to manage stress and pressure. Overall, I believe it's the support that we receive from the program and at the same time from other founders as well. What I remember the most is uh the amount of information that we discussed every week. Uh, imagine each startup discuss their own challenges. Amazingly, these challenges are almost the same. 80% of the problem that we're discussing, either we faced it or we're going to face in the future. So in one week, you can see the progress for each team member on other startups. What do you think the startup ecosystem needs the most in these moments? I think what the ecosystem or the startup ecosystem needs at this moment is a continuous collaboration and cooperation uh, during this time. I believe that each one of us can complement to each other, either by sharing notes, um, learning from the industry, or giving some insights on, on what you've learned from the past. Uh, I wish that uh, our ecosystem will be more attracted to the uh, developers. And we see a lot of developers uh, inside the countries and outside the countries because uh, in most of the startup, they are the engine that uh, uh, boosts the startup. Would you recommend this program to other founders and why? Absolutely. What MISC 500 is building is not only an ecosystem, but rather a movement of the next generation entrepreneurs. Extensive learning is only one factor, but the network and, and the founders or group of founders that share the same journey, mindset, and successes uh, is priceless. Would I recommend this program? Definitely yes, for many reasons. Uh, the main reason that the mentors are well experienced entrepreneurs, most of them at least. They already established a business and successfully sold it in Silicon Valley. And some of them has uh, two, three uh, startups and the amount of knowledge that you gain is tremendous. our third group tonight. Moj is a marketplace to buy new and pre-owned certified luxury watches in Saudi Arabia. Digital Sport is a SaaS that helps sports teams and leagues build their own mobile app to engage with their fans inside and outside venues. Tamwil is your online gateway to find the best personalized loans for all your needs with instant approval decisions. Tasira is a mobile app that helps Saudi drivers get tailored codes from trusted repair shops. I will give you this hundred dollars bell if you can tell me if this watch is real or fake. It's fake. And that's why people hesitate to buy second-hand luxury watches online because of the authenticity issue. We are in a mission to crush the fakes. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lemia, and I sit about building Saudi's first pre-owned certified luxury watch marketplace where we sell second-hand watches such as Rolex, Patek, and AP. Most importantly, we guarantee these watches 
to be authentic. In just a year, we sold 250 watches. That's $3 million in GMV. On average, we make $600 commission per watch, and we have been growing at 30% month on month, even during the COVID-19. During the COVID, we help individuals to sell their own watches directly to watch suppliers. And we found that these watches are currency. We easily liquidate watches into cash. We take no inventory risk. And as a result, we built a network of over 600 watch suppliers across the globe. And now we have access to more than 15,000 watches. Since 2019, myself and my team have already built Moj into Saudi's growing destination for authentic second-hand watches. And now we are expanding to other luxury categories such as jewelry. I am a serial e-commerce entrepreneur obsessed with watches and jewelry and spend all my adult life buying and selling them online. And I assembled a team who already matched my level of ambition. Our market size is worth over $32 billion. And we have seen huge growth and funding across luxury second-hand marketplaces in the US and Europe, including the Real and the Chrono 24, but one of the wealthiest markets in the world, the Saudi market, is untapped. This leaves Mode to double down on its position as the number one destination for luxury second-hand goods in Saudi and eventually the MENA region. If you think gold is a good investment, wait till I tell you about watches. Only 1% of sports teams across the world have their own mobile app. Yet at the same time, two thirds of their millennial fans prefer to engage with them through their phones. See, without having their own mobile app, teams like Al Hilal, Al Nasr, Al Zamalek, and the other 99% are failing to offer a direct communication channel with their fans, which means that they are not providing the fan experience that is expected, but also they are missing out on a huge opportunity to collect invaluable data about their fans while also monetizing on their loyalty. I know, you're probably wondering, what's stopping them from building their own app? In reality, building a fan engagement app is very complex because fans expect features like ticketing, merchandise store, live game statistics, video streaming, and many more, all of which needs to be seamlessly fed into the same exact app, making it a very long and a very expensive process. But this made us realize that what most sports teams acquire is the same exact set of features. So we thought to ourselves, why don't we just build them all into a single app as a white label solution? We just need to give teams the ability to customize it and make it their very own. And this is exactly what we've done at Digital Sport. My name is Omar Dweek and I'm the founder of Digital Sport. I'm a former international football player, a tech geek, but most importantly, I'm a huge sports fan myself. And together with my team of amazing software developers, our goal is to help clubs offer their fans the experience they deserve, both inside and outside of stadiums, through mobile. At Digital Sport, we provide sports teams with fully customized mobile apps, which include ticketing, merchandise store, live game statistics, video streaming, gamification, a content management system with backend analytics, all of it at an annual subscription fee starting as low as $6,000, which makes it 10 times cheaper and five times quicker than if they had decided to build their own app. And by using Digital Sport, our clients get to unlock digital revenue streams, including ticketing, merchandise sales, as well as sponsorship. 
To date, we have already signed with the Jordanian Pro Football League, as well as a regional Olympic committee, and are currently in talks, as we speak, with the prestigious first division football club, Al Hilal. And this is just the beginning. In Saudi, the 2030 vision entails the commercialization of sports teams, which, in our current times, can only be achieved through digitization. So if you want to join us in unlocking this $5 billion sports analytics market, come talk to us. Thank you. This is how you apply for a loan. Lots of paper, an hour to fit them in, not knowing how much you're going to get. And even worse, getting rejected or paying way too much for your loan. What a waste of time and money. With Tamweel, you will never experience this ever again. Hi, my name is Abdullah. I am the co-founder and CFO of Tamweel. We provide loans from your phone. To get a loan, you have to go to multiple banks just to ask for information and compare between terms and interest rates. Imagine you do the same for all banks. A nightmare, isn't it? Now, with Tamweel, our technology made this process easy for you in three simple steps. Through our app, you tell us how much you need, we compare multiple loans for you, and help you apply for the best one and getting instantly approved directly from your phone. While you are waiting a queue at a bank, you could have gotten your loan from your phone and save time and thousands of free ads. During our time with 500 startups, we launched our Android beta. And within just the last six weeks, we gained more than 1,500 new users, helping them to apply for more than 900 loans worth over 71 million riyads. And all of that because of our strong positioning in the App Store with zero marketing. Because our partners like online real estate, cards, and other marketplaces, they need loans to save their products. So they offer our solution to their customers, allowing us to grow faster and gain access to more than 2.5 million customers. And that's more than half a trillion market in Saudi Arabia. And we make money from taking 0.5% brokerage fees. Recently, we got into a partnership with Mal to become the enabler for all their digital loans at a monthly capacity of 50 million riyals to get this market. While there are a few solutions in the market, they serve customers with no accurate results, limited choices, limited availability on multiple platforms, or no instant approvals. Whereas, Tamweel gives you all of that with a few clicks on your phone. This wouldn't be possible without our team that has more than 20 years of collective experience in the fintech space, including building online banking solutions together over the last three years. We understand how banks make loan decisions and how horrible it is to go through the journey. And that's why we built Tamwe. Imagine how transformed the loan market will be when you can apply for every kind of loan, from personal to mortgages with the clicks on your phone. Having a monthly loan request of more than 71 million riyals and an access to more than 2.5 million customers and a monthly loan capacity of more than 50 million riyals available now for us to lend, we are on a mission to help everyone to get the right loan and never worry about waiting in banks or paying too much for a loan. Join us. And next time, when you want to get a loan, get it from Tamwe. Right from your phone, your loans from your phone. Imagine you got a car accident in Riyadh. Fortunately, you are safe. But now, guess what? You have to deal with a smashed up car. So annoying. Why is it so painful to fix your car? So many repair shops feel like a ripoff. They give you such variable prices for the same crash. And you don't even know which one is trustworthy enough to have your precious car repaired. Exactly this happened to me two years ago when I was involved in an accident. And after days of frustration, searching for the right workshop, I decided to do something about it. My name is Saad. And I built this era with a mission to make car repairs straightforward, 
hassle-free and cost-transparent. Through the Tessera app, you simply snap a picture of the damage and receive repair quotes from our network of trusted and customer-reviewed repair shops straight to your phone, as simple as this. The same shops can also assist in maintenance and spare parts as we continue to expand the services in our app, which is good because there are half a million accidents every year in Saudi. That is a huge offline market waiting to be digitized. And due to the COVID-19, everybody wants to do things remote, which is exactly what we are doing for them, making the repair shops and you happy. We are currently focused on Riyadh, and with very little marketing effort, we are already receiving 1,000 repair requests a month. Clearly, many people are as, as frustrated as I was. We'll make money by taking a 10% commission from the over 150 shops on Tasira. I am the CEO and co-founder of Tasira. I have a PhD in industrial and systems engineering with two US granted patents. And together with my co-founder, Ahmed, and a team of six, we combine significant experience in tech, product, operations, and growth. Join us to make people's lives easier. With over 1,000 repair requests a month just before the lockdown, Tasira is making car repair easy and efficient. In the future, we will do the same to the spare parts and maintenance. Thank you. Our fourth and final group. We is the first Saudi provider for electrical scooter sharing services. Covetti brings front row fashion at your doorstep with a click of a button. Yovza is a SaaS that helps construction companies from the MENA region digitize their approval workflow to save 70% of their time and efforts. AppGain is a SaaS that helps mobile marketers get more users and improve retention in one single platform. Governments in the Middle East have spent billions of dollars on building public transportation systems for their cities. But the problem is not everyone lives within walking distance of metro station. At WE, we solve that problem, the mega problem of getting people to and from public transportation outlets. WE is the main solution that fits mega problem. I'm Mutlaq Sveri, founder and CEO of WE. And we are here to solve the first and last mile problem in the most efficient possible way by electric scooters. We are passionate about solving last mile problem. We just started we with bikes, but quickly we found out that we scooters are much more suited for Saudi Arabia than bikes. Because of the hot weather, people don't need an extra effort outdoor to be sweating. Also, e-scooters are much more convenient with thobs and abayas. It seems like they were invented for this country. E-scooters have changed how people get around on a daily basis in over 200 cities. Micromobility market is reaching half a trillion dollars, with over five billion dollars already injected in micromobility companies in just last five years. So let me tell you that. Scooters are here to stay. When we began a pilot in Riyadh with limited number of scooters, more than 1,300 rides were taken in just two weeks. This shows that Saudis do love scooters and they found them very useful. To get these scooters to the market, you need to combine local knowledge and deep experience in the mobility industry. I'm a serial entrepreneur 
and they have more than 15 years of experience in operations management in both public and private sectors in Saudi Arabia. My amazing team has a valuable experience in operation, marketing, and public policy from global and regional mobility companies. We just started from Riyadh. We see governments and cities are excited about e-scooters. Our growth cities are Jeddah, Mecca, Al Medina, Abu Dhabi, and Dubai. Now it's time to bring e-scooters to our part of the world. It's about time. So if you want to be part of the next generation in mobility in the Middle East, just hop on. Thank you. What if I told you, you don't need to go to Paris or Milan to be in the front row fashion. At Covetti, we bring the front row fashion to you with a click of a button. I'm Hebel Fazari, founder and CEO of Covetti, a luxury marketplace for the up and coming designers. And I promise you, it's not another marketplace. Meet Carolina, she's one of our favorite designers. Based in Colombia, she designed the most beautiful dresses. She has two main problems. First, she would really love to sell her dresses online and offline. However, she's not able to get in Bloomingdale's nor Farfetch. She's not just big enough, nor she's able to sell in Etsy. It's just not good for luxury brands. And that's what we provide Carolina with, a platform to sell her gorgeous pieces online. Carolina's second problem is manufacturing. Unlike other marketplaces, we give Carolina the ability to manufacture on demand through curated network of elite manufacturers, making her cost efficient and sustainable. For us, we improve our margins and for the factories, they utilize capacity and it's a win for everyone. We are fashion obsessed. We believe everyone sick and tired from looking at the same thin brands over and over and over again when there's so much more variety in the market. And that's why currently we have 140 designers on board and we make money by charging 30%. With our strategic partnership with the Arab Fashion Council, the leader in fashion in the MENA region, we are named as the production arm of the MENA region. And we will be able to grow our 200 strong wait list even longer. Since we started, we have generated 275,000 US dollars with a growth rate of 344%. Having fulfilled orders to more than 15 countries, we, position, we have been positioned to go after the 50 billion US dollars luxury fashion market in the GCC and Egypt alone, with only 2% of those sales take place online. And we are excited to be the leader for the up and coming designers. My co-founders and I are the perfect team for this have started and scaled more than five businesses before, globally, in UAE, in Egypt, in India, and in Afghanistan, by the way, armed with very successful exits. And global sourcing as just one of our expertise, we will be able to onboard designers and factories at scale. We're just as global as our designers. We're bringing the on-demand manufacturing with global distribution to the world of affordable luxury. And we're looking for the right partner to build on our traction for the next phase. Thank you. This is the amount of paperwork involved just to buy a single load of concrete. Imagine the paperwork to complete the whole thing. This is exactly why 80% of the construction projects are running late, resulting in billions of wastage. In addition to these collateral damages due to those delays. Oh no, it's not your architect, not even the rain or any other kinds of excuses which you might have heard. Hi, I am Madan, the founder of Yauza. Being a construction engineer myself, I have personally handled more than 3 million sheets of paper throughout my career. 
That's why I have decided to build our solution. A solution which could help thousands of engineers just like me across the MENA region. Yauza helps construction industry digitize their approval workflow, connecting all the stakeholders, architects, engineers, and even the suppliers in one single platform. Now approval process, progress reports, and even tenders can all be managed digitally, saving 70% of their time. The pain which we are solving is really obvious for our clients. That's why more than 200 companies have signed up in just four weeks to try our product. We charge these companies a monthly subscription fee starting from just $600 in return of tens and thousands of additional amount of value which we create. I have personally managed projects worth more than $150 million across GCC in the past 10 years. Meanwhile, my teammates Kiran and Maya are seasoned entrepreneurs having more than 10 years of experience in software development, B2B marketing and sales. The global market for software in construction industry is $125 billion. Meanwhile, just here in the MENA region, it's $12 billion. We are primed to help all of the companies in the region recover their losses, which they have experienced due to COVID-19 shutdown. 200 companies in just four weeks, solving a multi-billion dollar problem, taking the leading charge to remove the paperwork completely from the construction industry. If you want to be a part of this historic opportunity, come talk to us. Thank you. billion dollars spent every year just to get you download apps even if you do 75% never open the app this is Muhammad Shaheen and our startup app game is focusing on re-engaging the 75% we have developed the technology to re-engage inactive app users by enabling marketers to embed video in a push notifications. This is how it looks. That video notifications is 10 times more effective versus our competitors who send just text. So 10 times more people will engage with the campaign and buying more coffee. Not only that, with a game you can re-engage in active app users who removed your app with remarketing so that same coffee shop app can do that with our cracking technology with one click of a button across all social media channels this new approach of remarketing means that our customers get some ROI of marketing four dollar for every single dollar spent this is double of market range we charge the customers a monthly subscriptions starting at $300 for small online retailers and starting at $2,500 for enterprise retailers with a dedicated servers. We are already working with the leading retail tech and e-commerce builders in the region. We have managed to maintain our growth rate of 20% month over month during COVID-19 with 11k dollars of book deals. AppGain is the first company in the region to tackle this problem. Combined with 20 years of experience in a mobile marketing and software development, myself and my team, we are in the best position to take on this challenge. So, if you are interested in investing in a company that tackles the biggest untapped opportunity in the market, then come and, talk, come and talk to us. And always remember, you can double your gain with a gain. Thank you for your time.
Thank you all for joining us tonight. We hope you enjoyed all the pitches. The founders worked extremely hard and the results reflect that effort. Starting a company is not easy and our founders have shown professional and personal growth during these testing times. For our investors in the audience, all of the founders are available for questions on the app. Here is the link once again to register for access. bit.ly slash MISC500DDD Thank you and good night.